It's one of my things that I really strive for, make me excited that I can, I can show the kids new technologies. <laughs> Looked at the, asking the athletic council and student council uh, students and we got some ideas as to what they would like to see over in the field. So they wanted things like seating for spectators, they wanted uh, you know, team seating, they wanted some shade obviously. We mulched all of these gardens and all along there we did a lot of planting native plants and we did all these armor stone rocks for uh, seating and they had got this field sodded couple years ago and it hasn't been working out well. But one thing that was really driving us crazy in all of that was we always had to work around this gully and the reason it was there was to drain all of the water away from the field so looking at some of the issues around it a lot of the stuff we've been looking at in our in our classes are you know environmental issues uh, related to the urban the urban landscape and a huge thing right now is dealing with water and storm water runoff. So any of the the service runoff will come in towards this, our collection area from the field, from the French drain that's going to be entering through the painting stone. And if it rains really heavily, some of that rain is going to flow over into our uh, rain garden. Another layer of material across the top. We've been supporting uh, Mr. Ringer's classroom here for a number of years. Um, our company's posted on their school as a major sponsor. Perfect. So behind me where you've got the makings of a 3,000 US gallon rain harvesting system. It's called the Rain Exchange by Aquascape. It's a series of um, plastic, almost like a milk crate type system stacked together to form a, uh, an underground cistern with a liner and everything like that to protect everything. This system then will be turned around and covered with a, a crushed stone and interlocking pavement that's permeable. Um, together they'll be able to harvest all the water coming through this sports field through the drainage swale. The school will then be able to use it to water the, the gardens around here in the perimeter. To the class, um, gives the kids hands-on experience. They'll actually be doing the bulk of the work from this point on. They're going to get all the hands-on experience of laying out a permeable paving uh, surface. You guys can do it? Yep. Okay, Steve. You're going to help Joe. He says you can figure this out. The best way to describe it is taking a traditional paving stone style and putting a wider um, spacer bar on it. So with the spacer bar here, on the old ones you can just be a little tiny little line of concrete on it. These ones allow the, the pavers to stand off from each other, creating a void space between the pavers which allow water to penetrate into here and fill up the, uh, the cistern, rain exchange cistern that we built underneath. It's also going to be good to have like an outdoor source of water for when we are planting or when we are, um, you know, we have our animals that we take over there with us so we can have a water supply for them. So it's going to have a benefit to us, but it's also going to have benefits, you know, for our community. We're going to be able to divert some of the, a, a large portion of the water that would normally be coming from that field and running into the storm sewer. Now it's going to be diverted. We're going to be able to c capture that water, reuse it, and by diverting that water, we're going to be reducing the amount of erosion around our rivers and streams, and the, wa the quality of water entering into the river and streams is going to be much better. Uh, with the new trees and seeding and this water system, I think this field will get a lot more use from the students. You know, it's going to be a nice looking feature, right? We're going to have a, it's going to be a beautiful area, but all that work that's going on underneath it is really, you know, what it's all about. <laughs>